Hello and welcome to Wild Fox Builds and today I am going to be building the Lego Friends Vet Clinic Rescue Buggy or set 41442. This is a 6 plus set. It was It's a Lego Friends set and it was released in 2021. So, and it comes with two characters and a puppy dog. So, let's get building. The pieces before and boom, after sorting. So, in this set there is, I think, 100 pieces which is pretty good value for the price, at least in Australia. So you have lots of diff lots of rainbows of colors, and yeah, those are all our pieces. So let's get building. So first of all, we need to meet the characters, and the first character that we meet is Stephanie. So Stephanie has this magenta skirt with these little white lines on the side, and then and some nice blue sneakers, and then her top has a magenta th under thing. So it's like she's wearing a dress with some matching white lines and then a gray little hoodie that says S on it. And, sorry, it's a silver hoodie with that says an S on it, and then she just has her typical face, which I think is really cool because I do like the metallic clothes. I think it's pretty cool how, like, the underneath matches the skirt. And this is Andrea with some teal pants, and then she has a gold and silver top with a pink little top underneath and a paw print on her sleeve, which I think is really cute. So that is her top and it even has some little sprinkles down there and then she just has her typical head and hair so those are both the characters that are included in this set so let's get building okay so now we get to start with the rescue buggy which is in the actual name of the set so it has two pairs of wheels and well I two pairs of wheels I'm gonna guess so and this is just the base of it so far. So put on some axles to stick the wheels on. So it looks pretty boring. And then we have our first sticker, which it says VET 03. And this is a number plate. I don't know what that means. It might not mean anything. Maybe it's the third VET set released in 2021. I'm not sure. And then on here we have some gray jump plates so that they can stand and drive this little buggy. And then on top of it, we get some, well, on top of the number plate, we get some hooks to store some things. I don't know what things yet. And then we get some wheel arches. So they're going to be quite big wheels. And we get to use some of this nice coral colour, this pinky orange colour, and some more to make a cute little front of it. Oh, and it matches, like, the slope of that frontward thing. Oh, and then we have some more stickers, which have a paw print and a heart line to make a little box on the back, which I just think is really cute. And I think you can, I think you can probably store the puppy in there, the puppy that comes in this set. And then we get some handlebars that attach to the front of our bike. And I think this is just a really nice design for these headlights. Like, they just hook on and they slide up to make a pretty awesome headlights and like oh and it also built in the bull bar i think i think that's what it's called and now we're on to we're already on to sticking on the wheels these monster serrated they're not serrated monster wheels that are gonna rise it a bit above the ground and make it a true buggy and so we've just attached on all four of the wheels and yeah, it drives, it, it works. Of course it does, it's Lego. Why would Lego design something that didn't work? Now we have a heart walkie talkie, which I think was first introduced in some of the 2019 sets and they're still continuing it on, which I think is really cute. And a nice little bottle, baby bottle. And now we have this long chain, which has a secret purpose that will come along later. And now you get a little clue of it with this little hook. It goes there and yeah this is the buggy so now let's move on to the next thing which is just a little grassy green mountain park thing because it kind of looks like it's set in the park and so just building up some rocky things oh and then we have this really cute picnic blanket sticker which is one of the reasons why i wanted to get this set along with the fact that I wanted a cheap set and this is much better value 
than one of the Lego Friends cubes because they're the same price, but they only come with one character and one pair. And this set comes with one animal and two characters, plus a lot more building, which I think is awesome. So we've already just built up a whole lot of scenery and a little waterfall, and now we're moving on to a little mechanism. Keeping it fairly simple because it does only have 100 pieces, but this mechanism is quite cool, and it'll go along with the hidden purpose of the chain. So it's still blending in with all this rocky colours to fit with our little mountainous, waterfally scenery thingy. And now we get another little bit, which has this really cool tree trunk piece. I don't know if this is new, but this is certainly my first time with this piece. I think it's epic. And now we also get some foliage with lots of different colored flowers. I have a white one, a light pink one, and a dark pink one. And then this can literally just slide onto this branch, which I think is really cool, which is quite pretty. And then that hooks onto the back of that mechanism, just with a little click. And then this can go back on here, which is quite cool. And now the tree can fall over back and forth which is a pretty awesome mechanism and it just has this little sticky uppy thing that you can put hair accessories in. I'm doing a terrible job explain it, explaining it. Uh, and that'll have a purpose later. Right now I'm just checking that I put it in properly because it kind of looks a little bit different to the instructions but yep I think it's fine. So that is our tree and even without the secret feature this landscaping is really pretty. Oh, and look, that little waterfall piece just covered up the little brown technique. So yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty. And it's also set in kind of the style of the new Lego Friends sets with little scenery, like a little mountain in the back or a little waterfall, but just to cramming it in. It's not like, I do like it, but yeah. Now we have this little sandwich with another sticker piece for the top that can just sit on the picnic blanket. No, it's meant to sit up here. And then we have the black and white puppy in all its glory sitting on the blanket. And this is our final build for that section. Now let's put it all together. So I've just realized that I stuck on these jumper plates the wrong way around and the characters can't actually stand in it. I noticed it when I was trying to get the characters to stand in it so I could show you all what it looked like. So now I fix them up and now Stephanie can get in if I can get her to hold onto the handlebars. Me and handlebars don't really get on. We, I suck at putting, getting hands on handlebars. So I'm just going to get them on. So this is Stephanie. She's on the buggy and now we're going to do this mechanism in action and Oh no, the puppy is trapped. So now this hook can clip onto this and then, oops, if I can just get it to stay down, Stephanie can drive away and it'll pop up freeing the puppy, which I think is really awesome and provides loads of play abilities. And I also just realized that I never gave you a really good look at the puppy. So it has one black paw and some little black spots in its face and it's adorable. So. Now we have, this is the whole set. I think this set is really awesome and really great value. So thanks for watching. Bye.